It's your boy High Five Vega back with another shootout. This time we're going to compare and test one aught OFC wire. Unlike our other shootout, this one's going to be short and sweet. It's a three part video series and we will have it wrapped up in three weeks. In this video, we'll go over the nine types of wire that I've chosen and we will also test for flexibility. In part two and three, we will get into depth on how much copper they have, how thick the jacket is, and in part three specifically, we will torture test and see how the jacket holds up. Okay, as you can see, I've got all nine of them cut down to 12 inch lengths. We're gonna start with the bend test and see how well they bend versus one another. Um, for this test, I'm gonna leave them at 12 inches. When we get into the uh, measuring and the weight of them, I'm gonna cut them down to six inches, just simply because it'll be easier for me to work with them on that size. So, a few things to mention. It is about 35 degrees outside, and I'm in the garage today. I do have, sorry for the shaky video here, my handy dandy little propane heater here. So, the bin test may be somewhat affected by the cold weather, but they're all in the same environment. So with that said, let's start with this uh, welding cable. This is the two watt. And let's just see how tight of a spiral we can get with much effort. Now this is definitely, this is going to be the, the, the most subjective part of this test. But uh, I mean, I've heard that different brands of these are different as far as flexibility goes. But this is okay, I mean, I wouldn't consider it ideal. So now I'm gonna kinda just go through these next. Okay, same with this. This is an old school brand, Hooker Audio. It's hard to see that logo, it's kinda faded. But let's do the same with this. Now, I could roll that in a much tighter spiral than the welding cable, as you can see. So yeah, I think, uh, this is quite a bit more flexible. Stinger. Now I can tell you right away that this one is much more flexible just by feeling of the jacket. And you know this flexibility has a lot to do with how many strands it has in there and how and basically how the jacket is. So let's do the same with this. Now this one, I get into, this one's very flexible, really nice stuff. But we'll see how much copper it's got in there once we tear them apart. Welding cable, the one aught. Now, much like the two aught, this may be a little more flexible because it's got less copper, but let's see. Okay, actually this is pretty flexible. It's not as flexible as the Stinger, but it's right on par. So depending on you know how much wire that actually holds, we'll see. Up next, we got the Rockford Fosgate. That would be this one right here. Well, I'll try to see if you can. This one's definitely hard to see. It's got a. This is an older cable. And it's got a little bit of oxidation on it right here. So that comes from, and I, actually, you know. Non tin cables will do that. So you have OFC that's just straight copper, like you find in welding cable. And then you'll have stuff that is tinned OFC, which you have right here in the stinger. So the tinned, even though, you know, some people may think it looks like aluminum or CCA, it, uh, it helps from that corrosion. But th this is pretty old wire, so that again may affect the the flexibility, but like I said, this is the most subjective part of the test. So let's start bending that up. So this, I can get it in a double roll here, but I guess it's on par with the hooker wire that we done earlier. It's more flexible than the two watt uh, welding cable, so. Interrupting your regularly scheduled programming to talk about 12 Volt Talk. It's a podcast I do with my great buddy Derek from Williston Audio. Check it out, youtube.com slash 12 Talk. We're also a audio-only podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and many more. The Raptor OFC. 
So this is also an older brand that was around, uh, I think it was the early 2000s maybe. Maybe it was mid 2000s, but uh, this is definitely a cheap brand. So this is one of those generic one op kits that is probably more like four gauge or something. So we'll just test it for flexibility. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I can get this in double roll, but it's not very flexible. I need to use some force to do that. So it's outside the two watt welding cable. It's probably one of the least flexible that we've tried so far. We got the Phoenix Gold one on. So this Phoenix Gold here, this cable, it is actually, I think this is 10 too, not that that matters right now, but uh, it feels pretty flexible. So let's give it a test here. Oh yeah, you get it. It's not as flexible as the Stinger wire, but it's got a thicker jacket on it. So you, I think you gain a little bit of advantage from having this, you know, kind of more sturdy jacket. And you give up a little bit of flexibility, but not much. Oh well, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that. It's very flexible. We're going with the JL Audio. Well, JL, it's got like a, uh, it's got a nice heavy duty jacket on it. It's definitely going to hold up over time, but let's see how the flexibility is. Okay. Flexibility is actually decent on this. It is harder to get moving, but once you get it moving, it feels like it's, it's, it's pretty decent. So yeah, this ain't bad. This is somewhere. In the middle of the pack, I'd say, the Sky High. And, you know, I really like this brand. They do some budget stuff for, with their OFC and with, you know, they do a lot of CCA. But, yeah, this, you can tell right away that this jacket on it is very flexible. I guess, you know, that could be a bad thing over time that maybe it'll wear down. It's not as sturdy. But I can tell you right now, just feeling of it, that the flexibility is very good. Now this, I mean, this is the most flexible by far. And I knew that even going in, just handling it. Uh, so whether it's a matter of how well this jacket holds up, something we're going to test later on all these, or just flexibility, this is by far the most flexible. So as far as flexibility, I say it goes something like this. Sky High being number one. The Stinger is going to be number two. Then when we go from there, you're probably looking at the Phoenix Gold. Um, and then we kind of get into... Uh, these are all within a realm, maybe. You know, these are all within... a. a realm of susceptibility and this two watt is by far the least flexible so you know you got like one two three well and then last place so let's uh cut these down to six inch sizes and then we will test them to see how much copper is in them we will also cut the jackets off see how thick the jacket is um see how thick the copper is weigh it and then we'll do some testing on the jackets themselves with the copper inside. Shout out to all my Patreon supporters, but a special shout out goes to Jason Rose, Joaquin Juarez, and Rick Quattlebaum. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the team and check out all the cool Patreon exclusive content. Just go to patreon.com slash vega. If you're not already subscribed, you should do so and click the little bell notification so that way you can see part two when it comes out next week and part three the week after. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so as you can see, I've already cut these down to six inch lengths just because it's going to make it easier for me to work with. So we're going to start by measuring the outside diameter with the jacket and the copper inside. <laughs> 